WordPress 6.7, an update that we've all been so patiently waiting for. And from new themes to smoother user experience, it's just packed with all of this cool stuff to make your WordPress journey even more enjoyable than it already is. So stick around as I cover seven new features that I think are the best in this new update. So let's not waste any time and just get straight to the video. So the first thing that you might have already heard of is the new default theme 2025. Now it adds to WordPress's collection of 15 20 series themes and this year's theme aims to appeal to a wide range of bloggers such as simple personal blogs, photo blogs, and even more complex blogs that require a broader set of blogs and more diverse content. So let's just quickly take a look at this theme. So first thing just click on customize right over here and let's see what we've got. Now the layout is pretty minimal and very clear as we can tell, but what stands out with 2025 is its large collection of design patterns. To check them out, go to patterns on the left right here and you'll see various page types such as an about page, content gallery, and so on, just everything you need. Now each of these designs is quite minimalistic and very simple. Now this style may not work for everyone, but I think it's pretty cool and it's really convenient for starting out it really doesn't overwhelm you with complex designs and so on. Okay, now moving on to the page templates, there are also some pretty nice and minimalistic template designs. And what's more comfortable is that you can now change the view from grid to let's say a list and view them comfortably in full size, or just pick a table, just whatever works for you. This makes life so much easier. And you can also go to styles and select between some predefined designs and select different color palettes or fonts to match them all together. And now actually speaking of fonts, there are some really cool font management updates as well in this WordPress 6.7 update that you should definitely check out. So let me do this with you once again. So simply just click on the edit styles button right over here and you'll see more editing options where you can adjust colors, the background and so on, lots of options here. But for now, let's just go with typography. Here we have many more fonts to choose from as we can see, but what I really, really urge you to try is fluid typography. It's needed to ensure that the text remains readable on both large desktop monitors and small mobile screens. So just select font size presets at the bottom over here, here you'll see font size presets from small to extra large. You can click on any of them, manage the size yourself, and enable fluid typography. You can also set custom fluid values by picking the smallest and biggest size for text, or I mean, you can add your own custom size, of course. Just don't forget to hit save after you set it up and it will all appear next to the default ones for your convenience. Now, in terms of typography, I really think this update is a step in the right direction because the more control we have over typography, settings, the more freedom we have over our site designs, which is, I mean, always really great. Now, another cool feature that you definitely don't want to miss out on is the zoom out button right over here. Now, if you already have some experience with website creation, you might know that it can be a bit frustrating to compose different patterns while being stuck in the same close-up and not seeing the whole picture. I know for me, this is one of the most annoying things, but luckily for us, now if you click this little button right here, you can take a step back and see how it all actually looks. It allows you to quickly edit and organize things across the entire template or page way more conveniently. And I know it might seem like such a small change change in such a small update, but for me personally, it's super exciting to finally have it and it's so convenient. And if you feel the same way, please hit this video's like button. Anyway, moving on, I've got some very great news for all my Apple users because WordPress 6.7 now supports the HEIC picture format. I mean, about time, right? Anyway, if you're not sure what HEIC is or high efficiency image coding, it's Apple's default image format that saves high quality photos in smaller file sizes, which is absolutely great for saving storage space. Now in WordPress 6.7, HEIC images will automatically convert to JPEG if the server supports it. And this makes HEIC images viewable in the WordPress admin and very usable in posts, regardless of browser capability with HEIC. 
Plus, users can still download the original HEAC file if needed. Now, to check if your server supports HEAC conversion, simply go to Tools, then Site Health, then Info, and finally Media Handling, and just look for HEIC in ImageMagick supported file formats. If it's there, that just means your server supports it. This also seems like a very, very small update, but it actually is very useful if you have an iPhone, that is. Okay, another very cool thing Thing about this update is that WordPress also improved data views to give you way more flexibility and control over data layouts, their density, and some other cool stuff. Now, I already covered one of these changes at the very beginning of the video when talking about templates in the site editor. So not only can you pick the layout between the grid, table, or list, but you can also control grid density like so. Now, if you go to, let's say, the Pages section, you may notice that now you can toggle the filter visibility by clicking this button right here. You can add your filters here and see what filters have already been applied, or if you don't want the clutter, you can simply hide them. That's, I mean, pretty neat and convenient. Now, another difference you may notice is that now the author's avatars are also visible on the list, like this one right here. So these are just a couple of changes that I thought were worth mentioning, but I'm sure you will notice even more small improvements along the way when actually using WordPress. Now, moving on. WordPress 6.7 now allows even more detailed customization by expanding support options such as the long-requested shadow support for group blocks, borders, and color options to numerous blocks. You'll find these new additions in the site editor. Just select the block, go to styles, and select blocks. Since I selected the button blocks, I'll go to buttons. Here I can change the block background color control dimensions, add a border to the block, adjust its thickness, style, color, and so on and so on. Now, if you want to try adding the group block shadow, select the group block and look for the drop shadow button right at the bottom of the style settings over here. And now just pick the type of shadow that you want, basically. That's it. And another good news is that WordPress 6.7 now also includes group, comment, and list blocks. Now, these are really great additions that can give you more creative freedom, and this is especially great for designers and theme developers. And one more new feature is the template registration API. The new API, or in other words, application programming interface in WordPress makes it much easier for developers to add custom templates to plugins. Now, previously, if you remember, plugins had to use several filters to register templates, which complicated things a whole lot. Now, a big feature of the new API is that themes can override templates registered by plugins. If needed, they can fall back on the plugin's original title and description. The API also allows developers to remove or add specific templates as needed. And if this feature really interests you and you want to know more about it, I'll add an article down below on how to register blog templates on WordPress 6.7. All right, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it for today. So please just let me know in the comments down below which of these new features you are most excited about. I would really love to hear it. And you can also find a full list of features included in the 6.7 update over down below in the resources tab in the description. So definitely check it out. And if you're interested in WordPress and AI, go check out this video as it covers all the AI tools you can access on WordPress using Hostinger. We've We've also got plenty of other videos to help you manage your online presence, so hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.